In this video, we want to look at the bones of the horse's hock. So the hock of the hind limb compares to our ankle. The point of the hock is our heel. So you're in an exam, you're given a specimen of a hock such as this. First question might be, which limb is it? So three different ways that you can determine which limb you're looking at. First thing would be the ridges of the talus. They lie in an outwards direction from top to bottom. The second way would be the groove formed on the uh, plantar aspect of the calcaneus is on the medial half. So the majority of the bone is to the lateral side. And then the third way is the size of the splint bones, so the small metatarsals. The lateral one is larger than the medial one. So larger meta small metatarsal, groove of the calcaneus, and the ridges or the groove of the talus. Now we want to look at the individual bones. So it is a complicated structure made up of a variety of bones of, of different shapes and sizes. And we'll start proximally with the tibia. The tibia obviously has grooves that fit into the ridges of the talus. This is just the, the distal end of the tibia. It's much larger than this. And then directly behind the talus, on the lateral side, you can see how the calcaneus fits into the side and back of the uh, talus. The calcaneus fits into the talus. The talus is the most irregular of all the bones of the joint with the two large ridges and a groove in between. And then the distal face sits on top of the central tarsal bone. And then we get into the smaller bones of the joint. So we have the central tarsal bone, which kind of a flat bone that sits right over the top of the third tarsal bone, which sits right over the top of the third metatarsal. So we have the third tarsal, the central tarsal, and the talus directly above it. Now to the side, on the lateral, now we have the fourth tarsal bone that's directly over the fourth metatarsal and the lateral portion of the third metatarsal. And then on the medial side, we have the first and second tarsal bones that are usually joined and they are sitting over the second metatarsal bone. So the first and second, this is the third, then we have the fourth, then the central, which sits directly over the third, and then the, cal the uh, talus that sits directly on top of the central and the third, and then the calcaneus forms the back half of the, given the hock that particular shape. And you see how we have more or less a, a, a flush line on the lateral side, not so much on the medial side. Another way to distinguish which leg you're, you're looking at. And then lastly, the tibia sits on top of the talus. And of course, the tibia is quite a bit longer. So that's the hawk of the horse.